Hello friends, today we are going to see how to find out the missing number in an array which consists of the consecutive series of numbers in range 1 to n. So let's see. So this is the array and this array consists of the numbers from 1 to n. So n is 8 here. So you can say 1 to 8. Okay. Now there is a missing number in this array and that missing number is 4. See here 1, 2, 3 and then 5, 6, 7, 8. Clearly the missing number is 4. Now how to find out the missing number? Here because the numbers are very less we are able to find out just by looking at the array. But if there are thousands of numbers in the array then we will not be able to find out the number at a glance. So we need to write a program. So let's see how to write it. There are two methods. One is the sum formula and the second method is the XOR operation. So the first method is a simple method and now I will explain it. So the missing number is equal to sum of numbers from 1 to n minus sum of all numbers in the array means the numbers actually present in the array and this sum of numbers from range 1 to n the formula is here sum of numbers from 1 to n is equal to n into n plus 1 by 2 so let's find out this value here n is 8 so 8 into 8 plus 1 by 2 okay so 8 into 9 is 72 by 2 is 36 so the value for this is 36 and now find out the value for sum of all numbers in the array sum of the numbers in the array so let's add all these numbers 1 plus 2 is 3 plus 3 is 6 plus 5 is 11 plus 6 is 17 plus 7 is 24 plus 8 is 32. See here we have found out the sum of numbers present actually in the array. So that is 32. Again I will tell this is the addition of numbers in the range 1 to n. Means directly we have taken the first number and the last number and we consider that all numbers are consecutive. So we use the formula for addition of natural numbers from 1 to n and we find out the addition that is 36 minus this is the sum of numbers actually present in the array so 36 minus 32 is 4 so this means So this means 4 is the missing number in this array. So 4 is the missing number. So in this way we have found out the missing number in the array. This is an interview question and this is a very simple method to solve this question. Now let's see a more efficient method. That is the XOR operation. For using this operation we should know the XOR table. So if inputs are A and B, so if A and B both are 0, then the result is 0. And if A and B both are A, A, then the result is 0. See, I told you the first and the fourth row. I told you this because I want to write a formula here for X or See, whenever both inputs are same, the result is 0. Means A, X or A is 0. Whenever both inputs are same, the result is 0. And anything X or with 0, that is 0 X or A. And anything X or with 0, that is 0 X or A or A X or 0 gives the same element means a x or 0 is a or 0 x or a is 
0. So this is the XOR formula. Now let's use this formula in solving this problem. See here 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. So clearly 4 is the missing number. Now how to find out the missing number? See you have to first XOR all the numbers in the actual array. So if we XOR all the numbers in actual array so I will just write them this is the XOR operation so that is 5 XOR 6 so 1 XOR 2 XOR 3 5 6 7 8 and then you have to XOR I will just clean XOR all the numbers from range 1 to n so n is 8 1 to 8 so 1 XOR 2 XOR 3 sorry XOR 3 XOR 4 XOR 5 XOR 6 XOR 7 and XOR 8 these are the XOR in the range means XOR for the range 1 to N and this is XOR for actual numbers in the array actual numbers in array so these are the two entities now we have to XOR them both means we have to XOR the results we have to XOR these two so before solving you just put an XOR sign here now see all of them are in XOR means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 XOR 1 2 3 5 6 7 8 this is the way you have to look at it. See, AX or A is 0. So, this one, X or this one, they become 0. So, 0. Now, next. This 2 and this 2, they become 0. This 3, this 3, they become 0. Then, this 4 and there is no 4 so 4 remains as it is 4 remains as it is and all other become 0 6, 5 5 becomes 0 6 6 becomes 0 7 7 becomes 0 8 8 becomes 0 I will just write in short as only 1 0 because 0 x or 0 is 0 see here 0 x or 0 is 0 then again x or 0 is 0 and 4 x or 0 is c a x or 0 is a so 4 x or 0 is again 4 so we got the missing number which is 4 so this is how by using x or operation we get the missing number and by using x or operation because this is a bitwise operation the program becomes very fast and efficient so always make sure that you use this method in competitive programming.